Hi guys. I'm just returning to my car from uh, running to the bank. My bank is inside the um, grocery store. But yeah, I am. I had to run to the bank quickly because we actually had someone come by our house to fix our window. Our the window on the top floor of our townhouse popped right out guys this is so flipping scary so the room that you saw us preparing to become the library we had to pull out like a cot from underneath our bed and um put it inside it sit in there and made the kids uh, stay in there for a little bit even though like the bunk bed kind of um blocked the window as a mom that did not make me feel comfortable so i didn't feel safe with that but i'm gonna go back to the home quickly as the repair guys are there fixing it right now and see if I can get some footage to show you guys what it looks like. I took pictures, so even if I can't record it, I'll just interject some pictures. Let me know if this has ever happened to any of you guys, because this is friggin' scary. Upstairs, lunch is ready, please. Hi guys, so I told you I was gonna try to take a footage of the window being repaired, but I couldn't because it was just, I don't know, it was just really chaotic. I came in and it was lunch time and I don't know, it was just so much going on. All all at once so right now like the kids work is here on the table they completed their work this morning they still have some afternoon work to do but I didn't have time to even clean their stuff up because I was just trying to prepare for the woman to come and um, to repair the window well the woman and her husband to repair the window and then I had to run to the bank and I had to do that multiple times because the first amount was taken up for what they said would cost to fix the window, but then there were other th other factors that occurred while taking it out. So I think my husband is now just cleaning up. So we had to move some stuff. We had to move a lot of stuff around to get. In this case, it would be terrible because the ca we have cars below, yeah, and if it fell right out there, it would have just fell on either our car or the neighbor's car. And that would have been crazy. So that's what we're dealing with right now, and trying to get our house back to normal. Hi, Benji. Say hi to the peeps. Come here. Come here, say hi. He's a puppy, guys. He's, well, a year and a half. You can see, so hyperactive. Yeah? I know, I said that. Say hi to the peeps. Hi, peeps. Say hi, peeps. Hi, Benji, calm down. Hi, Oscar. Hi, Oscar. They've seen you plenty of times. I called you guys for lunch. Where were you? Downstairs. Doing what? Oreo wing. Look at this sign. <laughs> Oh yeah, and you guys don't even want to know the cost of repairing that window. Guess how much it costed? $367 or something along the lines. That's a lot of money just to replace like the crank of a window and the mechanism that opens it. That's a lot of money. That's not replacing the window, so I could only imagine. Hi guys, so this is the aftermath. We're all chilling right now in the living room. My little one's reading. Are you reading or not? Mm -hmm. I'm reading. <laughs> Can I say hi? Hi. Hi. Ah, the bookshelf is coming along. The living room is still disastrous. I just hi. ate, having a cup of tea. I'm and about dinosaurs. I'm just chilling here because I have been working all day long. So. I'm also actually going to run on the street because I have a dress that I bought last week and I didn't try it on. Like I don't try anything on when I go to the stores. And it was a bit short. Am I the only one that does that too? Do you guys? I mean, I know women like to go shopping, but do they like to try things on? Because I don't like to try anything on at the store. 
So maybe I'll bring you guys with me when I go out to Winners to exchange my dress. That's pretty much all that we're up to today. Extra moisturizer detangler and it didn't do much because her hair is just really thick. I mean, all the hair that you're seeing is only from the front half of her head because the rest, the back half is in braids still. Ah. I just apply a little bit of shea, not shea, a little bit of coconut oil to your hands away from my mouth. A little bit of, oh, oh coconut oil and it really just separates the strands no matter how tangled they are and I, I find this really impressive that's so cool Gotta finish the detangling. This coconut oil is amazing. It just detangles your hair so easily. Holy and like I said, this is only hair from the front half of her head. <laughs> Person. 